Well, hello, creators. Welcome back to Monzon Media. Today, we're going to look at the HSL color feature within Luminar Neo, but it's also available in AI, Luminar 4, and in fact, most photo editors like Photoshop, Lightroom, or Affinity Photo. And I wanna look at this today because I believe it's a very overlooked feature. So once you're in Luminar Neo, head over to the Essentials section and under color is where you're going to find HSL. And what HSL stands for is hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue refers to the shade of the color. You know, for example, if we take blue, we have a navy blue, we have baby blue. So all colors have different shades and different variations. If I were to click on the dropdown, you're going to see three options for hue, saturation, and luminance. And you can use these in conjunction with each other. For example, let's play around with the blue slider here. And you're going to see, pay attention to especially this area here and the blue dragon here. I'm going to bring the slider all the way to the left. And see how when I move this around, it affects the way that color looks. So it's more on the light blue side and it really enhances that color. Bring it to the right, it's going to look more purple. So this is really beneficial again for fine tuning specific colors. If I were to come up here and for example increase the saturation, it's going to increase the saturation for all the colors and for the whole image and sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you just want to focus specifically on one color. So let's now look at the yellow slider here. And if I bring it to the left, you see all the yellow, especially around the dragons here, it has more of an orangey hue to it. And then if we bring it to the right, as we add more yellow, it tends to look more green. Now let's switch over to saturation. Saturation is slightly different. In a way, this is where you can enhance the boldness of the color. So if I were to play with the reds here, if I bring the slider to the left, you're gonna see the reds in the color become more dull because we're decreasing the saturation of that color. And if I bring it up, you're gonna see how bright these reds look now. And again, let's try the blues. So I'm gonna bring the blue slider to the left and it's almost developing like a grayish tone because you know when you remove color, the neutral color is typically like a gray color. If I bring it all the way to the right, now it's more saturated, more bold, okay? And then lastly, luminance. When I think of luminance, I think of dark and light. And this also affects the colors in terms of its shade. So if we look at the blues once again, when I bring the slider down, it still maintains the blue, but you see that it becomes in a sense darker. Like I think of navy blue, it's like a darker shade of blue. If I increase the luminance, it develops more of a brighter type of look. So again, let's try, let's try the yellows and I'm gonna bring the slider to the left. And as you see, the yellow is still there, but it's kind of like a dirtier, darker yellow. If I bring it up, now it's bright and bold. Now in this example, in a portrait scenario, let's say I've got this image, it's already edited, uh, but it's got uh, a warm look to it, which I quite like. As you can see, there's quite a bit of yellow and almost a slight greenish tint to it. And HSL is great for this because I can focus specifically on the yellows in the green. So for example, the first thing I want to do is kind of bring out the blush in her cheeks a bit more. Like you do see her blush makeup there, but it's very faint. What I'm going to do is just increase it, bring it to the left. See how that comes out. When you do it too much, it starts to band a bit here. So I'm just increasing the hue first. And then see how if I bring the yellows more to green, you're going to see all those greens come out. I'm going to bring this more to the left to minimize that. And now you see her skin tone has that more orangey natural look. And then what we can do is go into the saturation tab here and further decrease the yellows. Now, if I bring it all the way left, hopefully you can see that it's very, very slight. Uh, or if I were to bring it all the way right here, you see that 
where it's like almost way too orangey. But if I decrease that yellow there and bring the saturation of the green too, now we see it's got more of a natural skin tone, right? So if I were to do a before and after, now, as we back off here, though, if you look at the overall picture, a lot of the green is gone and the yellows. This is where you would apply the mask. So if we go to add mask, this is where I would paint in. Make sure you're in paint and not erase. And this is where I would paint in the changes we did just on the face because that's what we were changing, right? So that way you don't lose any of the color in the background. And then as we back off, you see that the colors are still intact. So I hope that was helpful for you. And of course, if you have any specific questions, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know how you are finding Luminar Neo up to this point. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I've had an influx of views and subscribers lately. And just know that I really appreciate it. And I hope that I could continue to provide value to you guys. But you gotta let me know what you want to see. So as I said before, let me know in the comments below. But until the next video, get out there, hit record, create. And I'll see you when I see you.